As we've said before, as a general rule in Scala, we prefer to make things immutable. And by default, case classes are immutable, assuming their contents are immutable. That is to say that all of the variables that you put in them are by default declared as vals. And so if the values that they store can't be changed, they can't be changed to reference other things, and so they will be immutable. We talked about the fact that the copy method helps you to get around with the, the challenge there by creating new case classes that have uh, altered values inside of them. There are some applications, though, for which you will find that you want to make values mutate. Um, as a general rule, you should try to avoid this, try to think of ways that you can do it, because it's much easier to think about the code and to work with the code when you aren't changing values all over the place. But once again, there are some applications where it will be helpful to be able to mutate things. And in those situations, you might want to have a case class that you can mutate. How do you do this? Well, it's really not very hard. We simply say that the fields are vars. The point happens to be an example where Many of the programs that I would write that would have a point 3D, if I was going to be altering them over time, I'd probably want them to be mutable, and so I would declare them as vars. So, let's go try that out. Let's load in caseclasses.scala, and let's make ourselves a point, and note this is a val, p is a point 3D, and once again, one, two, three. I now have the ability to change that because I declared it to be a var. And if we look at P, sure enough, the X value has been mutated. Uh, the Y and the Z were left the same. So I don't recommend that you do this on a regular basis, but it is possible to annotate your members with a var and that will make your case classes mutable.